Harmonic Balance family, this is Tahir Maya Infinite. Welcome to my video and welcome to my YouTube channel, Living Maya. I am a spiritual teacher, a medicine woman, a healer, and a clinically trained therapist, and I integrate all of it. Shout out to my IG family. If you're watching this, just go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you only get 15 minutes. And that's if you want to listen to the full message. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to my Facebook family. So, I wanted to talk about uh, getting back to the natural essence of who you are as the wild self. Um, this is going to be geared a little bit towards the divine feminine energy, um, the woman aspect. However, you know. My Divine Masculine, my brothers can also tune in. But my journey uh, has taken me to this place of just understanding that archetype as uh, the inner child and embracing my inner child in all of her glory and these last couple weeks since i um been here in caparete i've been here for almost a month but these last couple weeks i haven't had any desire to wear any makeup and it's like i just don't have the desire and i'm just allowing my natural glow, my natural beauty to reign. And I notice how it creates this energy in my heart. And it reminds me of when I was little and how I would just embrace all of me. And I'm sure you guys can relate to that. You know, we didn't need to wear makeup when we were little, you know. And, you know, of course, as you get older and depending upon what you do with your life, that narrative changes. But my father noticed my pictures, you know, me being here and just enjoying life and also working. And he noticed how... I had the essence, like he, he felt the essence of my inner child. And, you know, he said, you're, you're glowing and I could feel and, and reminds me of when you used to come back from my nature walks. I used to take nature walks when I was little into the woods because I lived right near the woods, right near a creek. So every chance that I have got, I would go right into nature. I was not that child that liked to stay in and watch TV all the time. I was a true wild nature being. And I would, you know, talk to the trees, talk to the animals, walk in the creek, you know, take long naps, you know, without even being bothered by time and really connecting, you know, and I'm sure you can relate to this. I'm sure some of you guys can really relate to this. And how freeing that was. And this is where I'm at today. You know, I'm definitely have brought her back. And I brought her back into the woman, into the wild woman, which I'm sure you heard the term wild woman. If you heard of Car Carissa Pincola Estes, Women Who Run With the Wolves, then you have heard the term wild woman. And just really recognizing the wild goddess and for me wearing makeup and i'm not knocking makeup first and foremost because you will see me wear makeup again this is not the end of all ends and i don't believe in being extreme about anything but i do believe that we have to go through those stages to get to the underbelly which is your lower chakras, right? Talked about that in my last video. And understand um, what's the wisdom behind why you're, you're in this 
process. And so me not desiring makeup is just me embracing the natural essence of who I am. And also embracing that, you know, I'm getting a little older. I'm not old, but I'm getting a little older, you know, right at that curve of 40. And things have changed physically. You get what I'm saying? And instead of trying to alter it or manipulate the look of it, I'm just nurturing it by allowing those flaws to breathe, right? But also healing them with just being in that inner child vibration of it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. It's all part of getting older. And that has been very liberating. And I have been through phases where I didn't wear any makeup. But working in the system or being in the system caused me to create a narrative to believe that I had to make myself up all the time in order for people to see me. And this, this was just my own narrative, all right? So when I got out of the system, I started working for myself. This was the first thing I did was not wear a lot of makeup, you know. And so the word even make up, you know, is interesting. And as women, we tend to be pressured into looking a certain way, acting a certain way. You know this, you guys know this, this is basic one-on-one. -on -one you know, women's rights and so forth, um, to, to, to be received in society. So coming into the archetype of my inner child, as well as the mother in me, and also the grandmother in me, I don't care like I used to, you know, and not in a way, again, that I'm knocking women who wear makeup. I will wear makeup again. But it's not as important as just being in the flow of my wild self. Also, you know, reality is that I live in a hot climate, you know, so... Embracing the natural beauty that is reflected outside of me through the trees, the ocean, the mountains, you know, and not wanting to change any of it, which is a reflection of me. So you nurture it, right? Just how you nurture um, you nurture if you have a garden. You There's a nurturing there, right? You get up close and connected with what, what's going on. And that's how I'm feeling with my inner child. I'm just allowing her to be free in this space, but also stepping into my wild woman, understanding that goddess energy, and allowing her to show up sensual, sexual, and being in a beautiful, balanced relationship helps. You get what I'm saying? Being with a partner who not only sees you clearly, but also supports you in your journey. So how do you get to this point of coming back to your wild self. And that is through understanding that you have the ability to embrace all of your essence as one. So, <laughs> and speaking of relationship, that was him. 
confirmation spread are just funny to me. But um, yeah, so it's just about embracing that uh, wild essence and bringing all of those archetypes into one. Understanding that you need them all. But when you are in a system, okay, so this is about, so now I talked about that, I talked about just the natural essence of your inner child and how your inner child wants to breathe freely. So this goes into recognizing that most people, and I said this in my last people, hold your inner child in your heart, okay, in your heart space. And when your heart chakra is blocked, it is hard for you to listen to those higher messages coming from your higher chakras. And you're living in the undertone, the underbelly, which is your lower chakras. Okay, so I've talked about that in my last video. If you didn't watch it, go back and watch that. So now we're coming into focusing on getting back to that wild essence and this is all part of new earth i believe this is all part of us learning to appreciate her more in her wildness a lot of people are posting and i say continue to post being out in nature like that was that freedom that was part of your freedom was just being out in nature going to a park, being able to take a road trip to a lake, traveling. People are missing these things. And it's because your inner child feels so trapped. But your inner child, if you don't take control or if you don't learn to parent your inner child, guess who is the parent? It's not your mom and dad, although yes, they have they have uh, assisted in that, of course. But guess who parents them if they're not freeing their inner child? Is the system, the matrix, the cabal, whatever you want to call it at this point? It's something else. It's another energy, and majority of the collective are wounded children walking around in adult bodies i said this before and it's because the collective hasn't thoroughly healed those wounds and anytime when you're wounded especially when you're uh little you are looking for guidance you're looking for someone to come and comfort you. But if it's not at this point of the game, if it's not yourself, then guess what's going to come in? Another energy. The manipulator. The greatest manipulator is the system. This is how I look at things. And so it's like an abandoned child walking around desperately looking for help and it's like the the biggest predator comes in and says oh i got you and i'm going to uh, create this illusion around your freedom around your uh around how you feel about yourself or around how you should show up on in, in the world i'm going to create this whole illusion you feel me? So people scream about not being it, not being uh, or being restricted. But at the same time, <laughs> you you pretty much allow them to restrict you if you are a wounded individual and you haven't healed yourself as a whole being and the reason being is because there's still a fear of uh, knowing that you are a sovereign being which means you have to take responsibility for you 
which means you're not looking for handouts. You are gaining wisdom and understanding that, oh, I am in control of this vessel. So that means I have to alter and shift my narrative, which means I have to really get down and deep with my stories that are inside my energetic fields. They're not going to do that for you. Just like a predator uh, controls and manipulates a situation to get what they want. You get what I'm saying? Again, I believe this is just a big trauma loop, psychologically, spiritually, on, on that side. There's that side. And then there is the great healing that's happening on the other side. But most people are in this big old trauma loop and... They're not recognizing the shadow. And it just creates more shadows. More shadows for them to control. And so coming into that grandmother archetype, coming into that wisdom and recognizing that you have the ability to repair it, that, that, that self, that aspect of yourself that used to show up wild, that you should show up free. To remember that you're a sovereign being is fundamental right now. And the next stage of your evolution. So doesn't have to look like how I'm showing up. You get what I'm saying? I just this is just where I'm at. You know, with, with where I'm at in my stages. But recognize that when you allow others, especially if you are an adult and you're watching this, you're listening to this, you you have a you have the ability to think. You get what I'm saying? And if you are allowing others to dictate your freedom, then know that there is a part of you that is afraid to take responsibility for your own freedom. And so that part is the inner child, that younger part of you that is still stuck in the loop of trauma or of conditioning. You have to tap into that in order to really access that knowledge that's right there. I trust that that makes sense. And this is getting back into the natural essence of really who you are. You are a free sovereign being. But to wait for them to tell you that, <laughs> you'll be waiting around forever. Because this is not over. You know, I know people are uh, seeing that the states are opening back up here in the Dominican Republic. I believe um, in the next week or so, there'll be stores opening back up here. But this is not over. This is not over. You get what I'm saying? Like, there is other dynamics. Pan, pan, panademic part two will be coming up shortly. You get what I'm saying? They want to keep you locked into your to the wounded self, the wounded child. And I, I, I keep on referring to the child because that is where most people carry their wounds. And it doesn't have to be something that is extremely dramatic it could just be that you know both your parents worked so much that that lack of nourishment wasn't there it could be just as simple as that but know that that plays a huge part on the psyche when you don't have your natural parents to parent you to nurture you to love you to protect you to make you feel safe 
So what do you do? You seek out others. Or you isolate to the point where you think you know everything. And you're not open to any type of help. So that's also the other extreme. But you are literally drowning in your own, you know, hell. By, real, by thinking that you know everything. And trust and believe, yes, there's knowledge and infinite, and the infinite waters, but there's guides along the way to help you dive to get you there. You get what I'm saying? Navigate. But if you're not even open to that, then realize you have literally stunted your growth. Exactly where they want you at. It's all within a false narrative of control and this false freedom. Recognize even the masks and how the masks symbolize so much. And you can't see anybody smile. They took, they, they took that away. You know what I mean? Uh, they also make you feel as though you can't breathe natural air. So anytime you walk out the house, which doesn't make any sense to me, you put on a mask. Meanwhile, that same air is in your house. <laughs> People are driving around with their windows up, with the with the mask on. Like I seen it. And they say that you're free. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Does it? For me, I choose not to even entertain the narrative with my actions. And the only time you'll see me covering up is in the supermarket because I have to get food. And I don't wear a mask. I wear a scarf. This is just me because I just, I'm going to take my inner child and take my adult self and say, oh no, there's, there's ways around this, this foolishness. You will not parent me because I'm my own parent. So it's like you find that balance. There's always some ways to, to come into your, your essence and, and stay in that vibration, but still manage to be responsible in society by, okay, I have to cover up when I go into the supermarket. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to just wear a scarf. For me, that's my balance. For some, you know, they are getting creative with the mask and, you know, they're, they're representing their culture and all that. That's another way, you know what I mean? I just don't feel aligned to the mask, symbol, the symbolic reasoning behind even the, the image of it. It's just like, nah, I'm not doing it. But this is what a free, sovereign being does. You get what I'm saying? That is real freedom. To know that you don't have to follow every rule that they put out there. Because you realize how false it is. And you realize how manipulative it is. And the control of fear. And how that impacts you on a psychological level is deadly and this mass situation is the new norm even after they start opening back up stores there's going to be some stores that you're going to have to go in with a mask there's going to be some even outside places that you go to that you have to wear masks this is the new norm You know, and I would think if you're watching this video, you ain't trying to be a part of that. So, <laughs> so it's like heal. The healing continues, y'all. Heal. 
Get clear. Clear out that blockage. And allow your inner child to breathe. Allow your wild self to come through. Remember your wild self. Remember that part of you, that sense of freedom, that essence that came from nature, that came from just being curious about life. Remember that? Hell, remember when you used to hug people and people ain't looking at you like you're crazy? It's still here. It's still here. I'm living it. Wow. There's some places where it's it, it's it's so congested. I'm living a free life because I choose to. You have that right to. But you have to do the work to get there. So I trust that that makes sense and let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Please don't forget to subscribe if this resonates with you and I'll see you guys in my next one.